Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a trigonometric equation. We have secant x divided by tangent x equals square root of 2. And we're going to be looking for x values. I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the second one. So for my second method, I'm going to square both sides. And there, there's a reason behind it. So if you go ahead and square this, and you're going to get 2 here. Now we do have a nice identity that we can use here. So secant squared divided by tangent squared equals 2. We just have to make sure that in the original expression, tangent x cannot be 0. So we have that requirement. And that just means that x is not going to be, you know, tangent is 0 and sine is 0. So it's not going to be an odd multiple of pi. Okay? So that's, those are the exclusions we need to make. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by tangent squared. And now we can use our famous identity. Secant squared is the same as 1 plus tangent squared. That's a very helpful identity, especially if you're you know, differentiating expressions, solving integrals, so on and so forth. Or proving identities with trigonometry. So now we can go ahead and put the tangent squared on the right hand side. And that gives us 1 equals tangent squared x. And this has two results. Either tangent x is equal to 1 or tangent x is equal to negative 1. So let's go ahead and take a look at the possible solutions. If tangent is 1... That means x is 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians, right? But it could also be that, since we have the unit circle right here, this is the line we're looking at, and this is basically the tangent line. And if you kind of draw everything, it's going to look like that. So that's the diagonal, the bisector, so on and so forth. So this is pi over 4, but we also have to add pi to it because of the period, right? So another solution would be pi plus pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4. And obviously, you could also write the general solution as pi over 4 plus multiples of 2 pi, right? So there's going to be infinitely many solutions. All right, so but those are going to be the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. What about the tangent x equals negative 1? That's also going to give us two solutions. If you think about just the reversing this, you're going to get that, right? And that is where we have the pi over 2 plus pi over 4, or pi minus pi over 4. In this case, that would be 3 pi over 4. But you could also add pi to it, and that's going to be 7 pi over 4. All right? Great. So this looks great, but here's the problem. We squared both sides, so we introduced some extraneous solutions. So we need to check them. And how do we check them? There's a actually easy way to check it. Obviously, you can go ahead and plug it in. But here's another way to look at it. So notice that our expression is a quotient of secant and tangent. And that's a positive quotient. So secant and tangent uh, have to have the same sign, right? And secant has the same sign as cosine. So cosine and tangent have to have the same sign. What is that supposed to mean? Here, tangent and cosine are both positive, so this is a good quadrant. In the second quadrant, cosine is negative, tangent is also negative, so that's another good quadrant. In the third quadrant, tangent is positive, but cosine is negative, so that's not a good quadrant. And the fourth one is not a good quadrant either, because cosine is positive and the tangent is negative. So we're only going to accept solutions that are in the first and second quadrant. And so we're going to reject 5 pi over 4 because it's in the second quadrant. And 7 pi over 4 is in the fourth quadrant. We're also going to reject that and go with pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 as our solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the first method. So I kind of like the first method a little better because it avoids extraneous solutions. And the reason for that is we're not squaring both sides. So secant is 1 over cosine, and as you should know, tangent can be written as sine over cosine, right? Now let's go ahead and uh, put these in, uh, plug these into the expression. Remember, we had secant over tangent equals square root of 2. So let's go ahead and replace secant with 1 over cosine and tangent with sine over cosine. 
If cosine does not equal zero, we already talked about it, it shouldn't be, right? Then we can go ahead and cancel these out and we get one over sine x from here. And that's equal to square root of two, which implies sine x should not be zero, of course. And also sine x equals one over square root of two, which can be written as root two over two. Great, so when is sine root two over two? When, when you think about an isosceles right triangle, this is pi over four, this is one, one root two. Yes, the sine is one over root two if x is pi over four. So pi over four is one of the solutions, but again, because of tangent reasons, you can add pi to it, you know, because they're going to be on the same line. So pi, 5 pi over 4 is going to be another solution. If you add another 2 pi to it, or sorry, if, I, if you add another pi to it, uh, you're going to get 9 pi over 4, and that is going to be greater than 2 pi. So it's just going to repeat. Uh, so if you're looking for solutions between 0 and 2 pi, those are the solutions. Otherwise, you can keep going. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I have a graph that I'm going to show you. Never mind. Let's go to the graph. Here you go. Okay, so I graphed secant over tangent for you and their intersection with the horizontal line y equals square root of 2. And as you can see here, there are two solutions and these are going to be the points that they intersect at. So this is pi over 4 and this is 5 pi over 4. Of course, after 2 pi, it's just going to repeat. And this really brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.